Good evening. Good. Uh, okay. So you know, um, I I hope everybody has resolved their uh, um, issues of audio, audio and video, and I assume everybody can hear us. And again, one more time, good evening, welcome to this uh, Anovo USA uh, BCSP. Uh, certification awareness or uh, free webinar. And uh, uh, we are basically um, uh, uh, thankful to uh, Mustafa for arranging this. Um, I'm not, I, I would just mention a little, little bit about Mustafa and then uh, we will give him an opportunity uh, just to our, our, right after our brief introduction so he can, uh, uh, he can tell Ask a little bit more about himself, and at the same time, he can tell you, you guys, that uh, uh, where he was when he joined and what he thinks about ANOVA, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, again, the few meeting rules here. Uh, just please try to keep your video on if possible and the mic off during the session. And uh, if you have any query uh, questions, you know, and uh, you can write in the chat or you can send us a message. And uh, also at the end of the, uh, this session, we also gonna have a question and answer session. But let me just say, we, we're just gonna run this, uh, uh, try to, we can try to run this session a little cohesively. Uh, it is a formal session, but uh, I just wanna have that uh, you guys are engaged with us during the conversation. And at the same time, uh, can absorb things and give us your feedback, give us your questions so we can have a, you know, pretty smooth and uh, uh, cohesive conversation. So please try, do not hesitate to ask, ask a question or ask, uh, you know, uh, uh, any, anything or comment, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So let's proceed. And uh, uh, who we are, you know, we are uh, um, uh, occupational health and safety specialist. Uh, we are uh, based in, uh, uh, we have four locations. We are we're primarily based head offices in USA. Uh, we have office in uh, Birmingham, UK, and we have two offices in Karachi, Pakistan, and Lahore, Pakistan. Uh, we offer around about uh, 30 training courses and uh, of, of BCSP, of OSHA, of NFPA, of uh, uh, you know, a couple of other uh, UK bodies and a uh, lot of other uh, uh, sub courses, I, I call, uh, call them, uh, which is a safety and occupation health and safety uh, courses that we uh, do also offer. As far as the uh, clients are concerned, we are, we are uh, uh, you know, uh, well blessed <laughs> with, the, with the clients. Um, uh, we have about uh, 25 uh, global clients, uh, uh, in both in, uh, in Pakistan, in Middle East, in Iraq, and in the US as well. So Alhamdulillah, you know, things are uh, uh, doing, uh, doing well. And uh, we, uh, we try to create awareness by training and you know, do our responsibility as a part of a occupation health and safety company. And uh, let's move forward. Just very clearly, I'm not gonna go into too much detail. I mean, our mission, vision, and values, uh, it's, you know, uh, our, we inspire lead people to protect themselves and their workplace by raising awareness, uh, which, uh, you know, if you go in the depth of any, any occupational health and safety standard, this basically is, you know, to, uh, to protect people, to protect, have a value for the human life. Uh, that's what our mission is, you know, to protect people and uh, give them enough knowledge, awareness, so they can be safe at work and they are not uh, uh, part of the problem, they are part of the solution, if you may. And our vision is to establish state of art, safety, health, environment, training course across the globe. Uh, and uh, this is our vision and uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, we started this thing about a little more than a, uh, two years ago. and. Uh, uh, we are in, uh, I would say, in three different continents and uh, uh, three different countries. So that our vision is going uh, very well. That tells you um, a little bit about our clarity and our commitment to the uh, to the profession we are engaged. 
And uh, so we are well on track for our region. Our values absolutely always respect in excellence, ethics and leadership and professionalism. You know, uh, all these things are great, but you know, you have to be ethical, you have to be respectful and you have to provide the leadership and guidance um, to others. And then when the company wants the leadership, leadership is all about how you make a difference in, uh, in your team's daily life or whatever you call it, how you make a difference at any any aspect, that's the real leadership. So, you know, this is our mission value and course, okay. Uh, as far as uh, um, our services are concerned, uh, I mean, we, as I said, we provide training services. Then we also provide uh, uh, professional services as well. Uh, consultancy and auditing and advisory services. We also do some supplies as well. Um, uh, especially in pandemic, we have done a lot of uh, 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 supplies in in, uh, in 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 Pakistan, and uh, so these are all pretty diverse services. You know, um, when it comes to training services, we do it for OSHA, we do it for NFPA, we do the BCSP as I mentioned earlier. I don't want to go uh, uh, over and over again, but this is this is what we we do. These are the services we provide. Okay. Again, this kind of uh, uh, tells you what our focus is when it, when it comes to, to training. So as I said, we, we provide professional services, we got auditing and all these things, but this is, uh, session is more tailored towards the, the training aspect of it. So here you see our, our uh, core training. The first one is one of our most popular and most in demand and very competitive, I would call it, the, uh, it's the, the gold certification in the in the safety world is the BCSP certification, and we provide a, a training and exam prep and consultancy and all gap analysis on uh, um, CSP, ASP, CHST, CIT, and we recently started the uh, SMS uh, site safety manager, manager specialist. Uh, and uh, you know, um, Alhamdulillah, we not only provide these things, we we have. Uh, mentors uh, where, you know, who, who all of them are, uh, you know, uh, BCSP board certified, both have CSP training, uh, credentials, ASP credentials, CHST uh, credentials. So we, you know, not only that what we provide, but we also, uh, excuse me, we also give you the, the comfort and, com uh, com uh, you know, uh, uh, competency through our mentors uh, uh, certifications and everything else. And then is OSHA, you know, it's just the, you know, I would say the, you know, the godfather of uh, um, um, safety industry in the world. Um, uh, and we also provide in, in OSHA, obviously, if you know OSHA is mainly divided into two categories. One is the general industry and one is the construction industry. Uh, so, you know, we provide for the general industry, which is, you know, technical term is 29 CFR 910. Uh, and uh, for the construction is 29 CFR 1926. And uh, uh, I am OSHA uh, uh, certified outreach trainer, uh, um, uh, which can provide an OSHA training and uh, the compliance training outside the US as well. Then our another big one is the NFPA. Uh, NFPA, as you know, is the National Fire Protection Association in America. And uh, this is probably the most uh, um, used fire and uh, fire prevention code in the world uh, is NFPA. And it's uh, uh, the USA is one of the oldest uh, uh, organization, uh, probably more than 125 years old. Okay, so it's, it's pretty, pretty uh, competent. Uh, pretty, uh, I would say, um, well tested with the time, uh, and their their certification we provide is a CSCP. That's their uh, 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 the their gold standard. Again, uh, one of our mentor Bilal is in our meeting. He's also a CSCP. He's actually a Pakistan's first CSCP, uh, and uh, they I guess as we're gonna go. They have a, uh, one of the requirement is for in order to get qualified with the CSCP, you need to have a 40 hours of uh, uh, training from a, a recognized institution. 
And uh, I'm proud to announce that uh, uh, the NOA USA is one of the institutions the NFPA accepts as a recognized body that can, uh, if you get our certification, our uh, training, they will accept that as a 40 hour requirement for that the certification CSCP. And then obviously there are, there are two other certification which is lower than CSCP, CSW and CST, which also recognized uh, uh, by uh, NFPA as our uh, training providing requirement. Then is the their gold standard just like CSCP for BSCP, BCSP, NFPA have the CFPS uh, certified fire professional uh, specialist. Uh, so that training we also provide, and then the CFP as inspector training we also provide. And um, if uh, the next one is one of you is uh, any one of you is um, electrical uh, uh, person or works in an electrical environment, you know the same, uh, NFPA 70E training is very very popular, very important, and very uh, very uh, conducive. Uh, we also provide in that, and Balal is cert cert uh, certified in that. And we have further divided the NFPA 17 into two, two levels. One is the level one and level two, and then level three. And if their three levels basically kind of integrate everything into the CESCP training I mentioned above for NFPA. Then obviously we are we are big in the HAZOP study and process safety management. Uh, I mean, one of the Pakistan's biggest uh, uh, oil uh, government entity uh, oil and gas uh, uh, authority. We have we have provided them the has of a process safety management in recent months. So we uh, we kind of this is the training and uh, uh, the, the domain that we cover in our services. So I hope it helps. Um, I can you know you can just take a notes on that and as the conversation develop you can ask further questions and we can definitely dive into that then. Okay. Again, as I mentioned, is these are the main, those were the main uh, training certifications we were uh, exam prep we provide, but these are the list of, uh, uh, you know, all other training as if you are from the uh, occupational health and safety field, you know, you can look at that, it has a fall protection, confined space, has for defensive driving, PPE, construction safety, scaffold inspection. Uh, I mean, I am, uh, I'm in US and I'm a, uh, uh, I'm certified with a New York City uh, scaffold, suspended scaffold supervisor. I'm also a rigging foreman on top of the, all the BCSP and engineering degree I have. So we are, we, are, we are big, very competitive on fall protection, which is the leading cause of fatality in the world is, and injuries is the fall protection. And that, of course, when you talk, talk about scaffolding, that kind of goes hand in hand. Then obviously risk management, ISO, you know, all of the ISOs, Bilal is also been certified in ISO, a couple of ISOs. Uh, so, I mean, these are the other training that we can also, and the advisory services, the consultancy, we can provide on these things as well. Just to want to mention a few, okay? Again, I mentioned, you know, the countries, continent, <laughs> the regions we based, the US office, head office, that's where, where I am. And these are the addresses. Uh, if somebody wants to address with the phone number, everything. And uh, and Pakistan, there are two addresses, one in Karachi, one in Lahore, and then one in Birmingham, UK, and uh, one where I am in the uh, US uh, as well. And I'm sorry I would mention, forgot that one of our office manager, Anna Chapman, uh, she couldn't join because she had a COVID last week and uh, she's recovering and she's fine now. But uh, it just it was just very early in the morning here in US, and uh, so she was six right in Oscar to join. But uh, as she will be uh, in touch with you guys, or as the thing uh, as the thing progress. I know he, she was heavily involved with Mustafa uh, when Mustafa joined, and we can talk further on that. Okay. Um, here is our uh, core team. This is our like you know the executive level team and the uh, management core. Although we have a lot of other people, but this is what it is. I mean, on the, on the left of the screen, this is me, the guy with the big, big mustaches, uh, Imran Iqbal, the founder and uh, CEO of uh, a group of companies. 
my next to me is my dear friends, uh, the guy I'm proud of, uh, our chief operating officer. Uh, he is, I'm based in US and I often go to UK and uh, Bilal is based in uh, Karachi and he often visits uh, Lahore office as well. But he's uh, basically monitoring our operation in Pakistan and Middle East uh, from there. And uh, me kind of uh, in uh, America, Europe, and you know, uh, now I'm talking to you guys in Africa. So I'm proud to be talking to somebody in the, the largest country of Africa, Algeria. Uh, so nice to hear from all of you. And then we have uh, our board members, very, very diverse, very competitive, uh, very highly professional uh, three board members we have, which basically oversee everything what we do. Uh, first one is uh, our board member is uh, Mohammed Idris. Uh, he's our uh, he deals with the, all the strategic planning we do. And I did talk to him about uh, talking to you guys. And uh, I mean, it's a, I mean, it's not his uh, expertise on BCSP. So he said, "Okay, you guys continue, and then." If later something further develops, and we can we can have a conversation. Uh, so uh, he's a uh, he's a um, very high executive. He's a head of uh, 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 technology group at uh, one of the a Belgium company in New York. So he he works for them. Uh, next one is uh, Dr. Zwan Hamid. Uh, he's based in uh, Leeds, UK. Uh, he's from uh, textile textile. He got a PhD in textile engineering and uh, business management. Uh, he worked uh, there in a, in a textile in Manchester for a few years, but last uh, 10, 15 years, he has his own business. Uh, he's very involved with the uh, uh, NHS, providing them the services and their, uh, you know, um, whatever they need as, uh, regarding textile and businesses, business services. Uh, so next one is uh, our uh, uh, young gun from, uh, from Pakistan. He's a board member, Dr. Mohammed Omer. Uh, he's actually a behavior-based safety, behavior safety specialist. Uh, gives a lot of deep information. He got a PhD from uh, uh, Malaysia. Um, very competent guy, very young, a lot of energy. And uh, so, you know, this is the core of a core team we have. We, I thought I should share with you uh, who you're talking to. Again, you know, this, these are our credentials and mentors. As again, I said, it's not just like we have a, we are just two business people who just came up with ideas and we just established a company and here we are. No, uh, we are professionals uh, uh, with the, you know, I got about 20 plus years of experience in US. I, I came here when I was a, a lot younger. My hairs were not that gray when I came here. <laughs> so, you know, I came here about 30 years ago, did my uh, bachelor's of engineering in Boston. Uh, then I worked in civil engineering and engineering management, construction safety, quite a bunch of years. And then, of course, you know, I got certified with the CSCP, uh, CSI, not CSCP, CSP and ASP and uh, CHST and OSHA. And I have a few others, which, you know, I didn't mention from New York City as well. Uh, I'm finishing up my thesis on uh, uh, MS in uh, Occupational Health and Safety from Columbia Southern University. Uh, so our safety manager for the New York City, this is a big credential. You know, if you work in New York, you, you have all these certification from all those bodies, but New York City is so big, it's so big, it's almost, you know, bigger than a country if you look at the operation size. Uh, and so they want their own recognition, their own competency. So I'm a site safety manager certified with the city of New York. I'm a, a suspended scaffold supervisor certified with the New York. I'm a rigging foreman certified with the city of New York. So these are all things I don't mention here, but I am member of ESP. I'm a member of uh, about 30 years with the ASCE and ESTM. Again, um, my friend Bilal Jilani, again, he's not just a, a, a business person, but again, it comes with a very strong uh, um, electrical electronics background. Uh, he worked for the Pakistan space program for about 10 years. Then he went to a, um, a manufacturing company and they worked there for a few years. Then, you know, we started this. He's also CSCP, uh, uh, he's also CSP and ESP, and uh, he's Pakistan's first CESCP and Pakistan's only CSCP who is also CSP. So very unique uh, credentials he has. He's a grad, a grad, Irish from UK, 
and you know ISO and uh, IGT as well. Master in Electrical Engineering, Bachelor in Electronic. Uh, he was declared the uh, BCSP uh, USA mentor in, in last year, 2020. He's uh, one of the uh, one of the top tier uh, approved contain uh, 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 the consultant from the government of Pakistan. Uh, he's also, uh, since you guys in Nigeria, you're very attached to the French system. So he, he's also a member of a mentor International Astronomical Federation in France, in Paris. Uh, he's also the member of that. And uh, uh, let me mention this, I think last year, me and Bilal uh, wrote a paper on uh, um, electrical safety uh, in, a, in an astronomical word uh, last year in, uh, uh, for the IEF in France. And uh, you know, uh, they have, we had the conference in Dubai, but because of the pandemic, we could, couldn't go. And they actually postponed the conference. And then if it does, then we'll we'll join them. So we, you know, we try to do things not only just our credential and our thing. We try to involve with other other bodies as well. I'm, you know, I'm involved here with. I'm a, I serve on a on a on a school uh, school board as a board member. One of the Islamic school here in New Jersey, about 25 years old, and a lot of other things we do. The, the, the idea is to tell you guys, it's not the, the cookie cutter, you know, the group you're talking to. We're very diverse, very well-rounded, understand the, you know, uh, intricacies of the system and the profession as well. Yes, Bala. Well, there's something in the chat who wants it? Everyone facing Okay, that's fine. Uh, so here, you know, these are our clients, you know, some major ones. Some, uh, uh, some overseas, some in Pakistan, some in US. So pretty, pretty diverse uh, 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 you know, group of uh, companies we, we have. So I will, that's now next. Again, as I said, we not only just do something for, for, the, um, for ourselves or our credentials. I mean, we understand the, the corporate social responsibility, you know, CSR. And for that, we, we just launched, uh, actually we got a lot of response on that. We launched a, a scholarship for, uh, for, for women. Uh, we are a, a huge advocate of, uh, uh, in, uh, you know, um, encouraging women. I mean, Pakistan is like 52% of the population of Pakistan is a woman and like it might be true in other parts of the world too. Uh, so women is an integral part of any professional and uh, especially now we are encouraging them to, uh, um, to the occupational health and safety. Uh, somebody have a question or Bilal? Amar, raise his hand. Yeah, Amar, you can turn on your mic and uh, please speak whatever you want to say, please. I think right now his audio is connecting. Uh, yeah, uh, so you can type us in the chat. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, let me let me send him the message. But can you go back to previous screen, the one with the CSR? Yes. So you know, as I was saying that we we had a I think we're probably going to we're going to show you a scholarship flyer. That we were giving the the free uh, BCSP uh, exam prep certification, which is close to like thirteen hundred dollars, twelve hundred fifty dollars for ASP and for CSP uh, to the to the woman. Anybody who is a, who is a college graduate in the last five years and work or doesn't work, it's different. We were giving to uh, uh, to the woman, and so that's what a merit based. Then we have the need based because of the pandemic, a lot of uh, uh, people lost their jobs and everything. And if somebody is a male who is earning for his family and no one doesn't have a job or wants to go professionally, we have a scholarship around $650 for that person as well. We already got the applications. Our deadline was uh, July 31st. And we are processing it, uh, I think in September or second week of September, we announced who, who got those scholarships. Again, we were big on uh, women pro projection in HSE. We go to different universities, different awareness sessions different colleges, schools, uh, which I do here as well, and Balal does in Pakistan as well. Yes, sir. 
again this is uh, just a kind of a, may not be you but uh, it's it's a, it's, a, it's a, it'll give you a comfort level and uh, uh, some projection that what we are going to do in the next few months or in a, in a year or so we are going for the international accreditation ia cert that's international body that certify you as a company who can provide the continuing education uh, it's a huge in uk and middle east and everywhere uh, it's called ICERT. We are going for that. Next month, we're filing the application and it'll take a good few months to get the credentials. And uh, we'll be you know, looking forward to getting that. Uh, again, uh, we are developing our own learning management system for all the USA, BCSP. I'm, I'm sure you are interested in BCSP, but other courses as well, uh, which give them exam prep. Uh, we have some, we have a system now, but we are uh, getting more centralized and uh, automated system which we are working on and should be should be very soon. Uh, then our plan is to become a you know OSHA uh, outreach uh, institute, and we also uh, big on mentorship for providing for the BCSP. Yes, Mula. Here, this guy you know looks familiar to me. His name is Mustafa. Hi, Mustafa. Hi, I'm Alan. Hi, oh, brother. Okay, let me just uh, uh, give a few minutes to uh, actually, you know, five, whatever, how many, whatever time you like uh, to Mustafa. And uh, let me just uh, start by saying a few things in a few seconds, and then he'll, he'll take over the presentation. And then, then we will uh, jump on to the real presentation, which is the PCSP certification. This was kind of overview for what we are and what our company is. So you guys have a, a comfort level or you understand who we are. And now we'll start the, the BCSP more specific training and uh, uh, topic. And, but let me just uh, say a few words for Mustafa. Mustafa joined us, uh, um, I think three, four months ago. Uh, uh, he saw us on the social media. He, you know, he called uh, um, or sent a message to our operation manager, Anna Chapman. He talked with her for you know, a couple of days. Then uh, she referred. Um, Mustafa to me, I talked to Mustafa and Mustafa talked to Bilal, everybody. And then uh, he had a free session with us. And uh, from there, you know, I can uh, uh, leave it to Mustafa, tell the story, what does, what did he feel? And uh, uh, we have proudly announced that we have given uh, uh, first uh, ASP to Algeria. And uh, we can humbly say that it came from you know USA. It came through our mentor mentorship program, and he's been uh, he's been good. He's been very good, very professional, very ethical, and uh, you know the guy who 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 understand the dynamic of uh, studying, exam prep, and then at the same time appreciating his mentor and be very respectful of them. So uh, Mustafa, thank you, brother, and uh, over to you now. Uh, thank you, Simran. Um... Very, I'm very uh, happy uh, to have you today in this uh, uh, free webinar. Uh, I just wanted to to let know the story to to the audience, uh, and uh, maybe one of one or two from them knows uh, know uh, very well my story. Uh, since last year, I started the uh, uh, ESP preparation uh, using my my let's say my my resources uh, and I always feel that I'm not confident to hit up for the exam so uh, suddenly this year uh, when I continue preparing for the ESP I have seen I have seen um, uh, Univo ESA advertising is not advertising is publishing uh, some BCSP course prep uh, I contact Anna, Anna uh, via WhatsApp, Bilal as well, and the advice to to uh, to help me uh, during this journey. So uh, the first thing I was uh, not sure what what Univo ESA can deliver to help me, and uh, I, I and, and kindly asked them uh, to to have uh, like uh, a, a free session uh, for, for, for one domain, which I do remember the electrical part, the electrical domain, fire and safety. Uh, Bilal, Bilal was very generous with me and you also Imran. 
uh, we conduct this, this, this session for almost half an hour. And I was happy and, uh, and I said like, just I will go for the exam prep with you guys. Uh, I really, really uh, find it very, very useful, very helpful and uh, very accurate uh, information helped me to, to pass the exam. Um, uh, let me give you my experience. Let me tell you my experience about the exam as well. Uh, on the 28th of July, uh, I head up to, to the Person View Exam Center in, in Algiers in the north. Uh, so I, I just drive 800 kilometers from my home base. And uh, and it was the, the last three days before the exam, it was very uh, stressed. Bilal, he knows. I told him I'm, I'm stressed. I'm, I'm, I'm getting nervous because the exam is coming. Uh, and I feel uh, the last day or the last night that uh, it's kind of, I'm not studying anything. I just hit into the exam. Uh, Bilal advised that this is a natural, natural and just uh, go for the exam. So during the day of the exam, I just uh, uh, went to the, uh, to the exam center. Uh, I sit, 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 uh, sit in front of the computer. I log in and then I started 200 questions in five hours. So uh, when I see the first question, I said, no, this is not gonna happen. I'm gonna, <laughs> this is, it's not gonna happen. It's, it's really a really tough exam, uh, and just start just scrolling and see and passing the questions. And I say, uh, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna pass. Uh, I will wait for the next one. But I'm, I'm I start the, the, like the percentage of confidence is like fifty percent, sixty percent. When I start just uh, passing the questions. And I start rising a little bit the confidence, and I say, uh, "This is my 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 journey. I, I I will pass, and I will be the first Algerian to have this certificate in my hand." So all this achievement is uh, without you having without having Univo USA, uh, without mentoring. Without you guys, I could not achieve this. Uh, uh, to introduce you, this to introduce you, Inovo ESA, to introduce Bilal and Amran, uh, they are a good, uh, a good uh, mentoring uh, for uh, BCSP, uh, especially ESP CSP exams. Uh, as you see, their profiles they are uh, have uh, many expertise in the. Uh, in different domain, NFPA, OSHA, uh, BCSP as well, HAZOP, uh, uh, everything. So uh, if you are guys planning to have these credentials in hands, like ESP, CSP, which I, which I, uh, which I, which I can see the CSP is a good block, is a, is a good uh, is a good and big milestone. You go through you know USA through Imran or Bilal, and they are good to help you, and they are in good position to help you to achieve this these credentials. Uh, and now um, after finishing my ESP, uh, I'm heading up, which is uh, the last and not the least the CSP exam, inshallah, in, 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 in October. Uh, I'm taking some uh, course prep with Unovo as well, uh, with, with the, the two uh, men mentors, Bilal and Imran. Uh, I, I was joined a little bit late. I'm in the, uh, in the domain five, but uh, inshallah, I, I could, I could uh, uh, by this time, planning in October, the exam in October, I could achieve uh, this this uh, this CSP uh, certification. Uh, I will continue my journey with 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 uh, Univo USA, inshallah for CSP for Grad Iosh, 
an FBA 70E electrical safety and this kind of uh, good uh, block certificate, inshallah. Thank Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you Mustafa. Uh, I mean, we, the, we really appreciate that. Zakala, you know, humble that you uh, you're one of the good students who uh, who appreciate the the mentors and uh, uh, understand okay, what what did it uh, uh, what did you, it it you know it what uh, it took to get to that that uh, certification. And uh, I must say that you 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 followed our instructions and you were. In, in contact with her till the last night. I remember that Bilal talking to me and I was like, just, uh, you know, we told you just relax. You have done that, believe it or not. When me and Bilal had the, the gap analysis with you, I think two or three days before the exam. And yes. uh, we were very confident that I told Bilal right yes. after our meeting, I sent a message said he's gonna pass. And, uh, but you seeing the question and thinking, well, first question, well, I'm not gonna pass, it's very natural. Okay, and I went to the CSP and I had the same feeling, oh man, I'm not gonna pass. But you know, that's just the, this, this, the exam is just so diverse and so uh, uh, intense, you, you get that feeling. And uh, um, yes, we, we're gonna be look forward to you for other certification. You forgot one PMP, so we're gonna do that as well for you. Yes, uh, in yes, in this is the plan as well, yes, yes. Inshallah, thank you, thank you, Mustafa. And if I, if I may now, uh, before Bilal, we, we jump into the conversation, can uh, other people just kind of have a brief introduction, just their name and, you know, years of education, what they do, just like, you know, 10, 15, 20 seconds, everybody. So we kind of know that, you know, uh, what our, you know, audience, you know, is. So uh, Mustafa, is, is that okay with everybody to come and introduce themselves for a few seconds? Yeah, they can they can introduce themselves. Uh, yes, yeah, have... they, themselves. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, let, let me or Bilal, you can mention first name who is the Ab Abedara. Yeah, Abdul Abdul Noor Bada. If if you can hear us and you can just uh, please come. Yeah, introduce yourself briefly. Abdul Noor Bada. Your mic is actually mute, so you have to turn it on to speak. Or we can move on to uh, Hakim, if uh, Bada needs some time. Just turn on your mic and start speaking, please. I think I think some some internet issues. I don't know. Uh, they are saying something in the chat. Yeah, we we are recording the stream. Don't worry about it. Uh, yeah. But what what we are saying right now, if we can have your uh, quick introduction, like smile, if you can just turn on the mic so that we can have some interaction between us. Uh, no one is coming up. I'm not sure they are getting it or not. Um, Mustafa, can you explain okay, what we want to do? We want to have just quick introduction from everybody, if possible. If not, no big deal. Yeah, I think I think the most of the people they are struggling to to connect. I don't know. I don't know. From from the beginning of the session, there is some guys. The audio is not connected. I don't know. This is the okay. problem. Okay. Okay. So is Hamza, Hamza, can you hear us? Muhammad, you can, Muhammad, he raised the hand, he can speak, I think. Yes, Muhammad, go ahead, Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum, hello. Wa alaikum salam, brother. Uh, I'm Mr. Iqbal, uh, Mr. Mustafa, thank you so much for the invitation for this uh, conference. I really uh, appreciate you, thank you. Uh, uh, first of all, I am uh, Mr. Mohammed. I am from Algeria. I am safety officer at oil serve company in, in the oil and gas field. Uh, I'm interested in the, to getting this uh, certifications like the ASP or uh, 
سي اس بي واي نوت ذا برزنتيشن واز جود اند كونجراتيوليشن اجين تو مستر دوب فور هيز مايل ستون ات واز ريلي ا جود اتشيفمنت اند هي ريلي هاز تو get this uh, certification because he's, uh, because he's a hard worker also as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mohammed. It's so nice of you. And uh, the presentation is going to continue. The real presentation is going to start after the introduction. But that was just an overview about our company and ourselves. And uh, we're going to dive deep into the, uh, the certification process for BCSP. Um, anybody so, else wants to talk? And Mohammed, so nice of you. you. You spoke very well. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I think Bilal, you can start the BCSP okay. presentation and yeah. then we, we record it and then we share it with the guys because uh, the most of the guys, they don't join. Uh, I don't know the reason why. Uh, so at least at the end, we can share the, the recording with them, especially sure. the, 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 the Unuvo profile and the, uh, the B, BC, BCSP steps. Sure. Okay. Okay. So uh, let me at this point uh, uh, have the uh, conversation. Uh, we both going to talk, me and Bilal. This is the BCSP is a board of uh, um, certified safety professional. Uh, BCSP is basically give you a you know a, a gold standard of safety in US. Um, is you can say the knowledge base and brings a higher caliber into your professional life. And uh, in in US, sometimes you know your uh, your earning and professional growth, and at the same time salary could uh, could even double with the CSP CSCP certification. Um, I mean, we all need uh, skill, knowledge, and experience. But when you go through the uh, the credentialing process of BCSP, that takes the the whole professional attitude and professional uh, growth to the next level. Uh, which in U.S. and in uh, in Middle East, especially, is it's uh, it's been seen with a very uh, high um, uh, prestige, and so that's why the BCSP certification become extremely important with the professional growth and uh, and uh, and everything else. Um, it it gives you the recognition for the excellence. Okay, uh, it's, it's a commitment and professional growth through the BSP certification is really a very powerful tool that we as a professional see in uh, in US. Uh, so at this point, I would ask uh, Balal um, uh, to um, to tell a little bit, little more, and then I'll join as well, Balal. So it's uh, over to you once again, my uh, our our mentor, my good friend, uh, Balal Jilani. Thank you, Balal. Uh, thank you, Imran and uh, Mustafa for a very good introduction and uh, setting the pitch and tone of the presentation for the rest of us. Uh, so guys, this is the overview of all the BCSP certifications. Uh, uh, just, Bilal, just Bilal, sorry uh, to interrupt you. I just get messages from the guys. They are not uh, hearing the voice. So I uh, they ask him to, for the recording and I say uh, the record will be will be uh sent to you when when this session finish exactly exactly that would that would be uploaded on our youtube channel so anyone can see as many times as they want it yes yes yeah. thanks yeah most sure. so this is the overview of the bcsp certifications uh, uh all the certifications are listed here the top one is certified safety professional uh this is Actually, we can say that uh, the certified safety professional is uh, one of the most uh, prestigious and well acknowledged uh, system safety level credential. Uh, and it is also acknowledged uh, by a few other uh, recognized boards like Board of Canada, uh, IOSH, NIBOSH, and some other uh, countries' boards. So they recognize CSP. Uh, as a good and a well, uh, we can say sort of gold credential. Uh, talking about some other credentials, associate safety professional, which is the uh, which is the prerequisite level credential for the CSP because CSP is the highest one. SMS is the safety management specialist. It is a very good one, and it is especially for those people uh, who don't have the bachelor's or higher education, but they have very extensive uh, field safety experience. So their experience is uh, like very uh, valuable and BCSP uh, acknowledges that 
experience uh, through the certification safety management specialist. I think the fourth important one after CSP, ASP, SNS is CIT, Certified Instructional Trainer, which is written at the end in the sequence, but I think it's the fourth important one uh, because it is one of the best credential in uh, uh, the world at the moment, uh, considering training. Uh, because we see that a lot of institutes, a lot of bodies are providing like train the trainer courses and all those. But this credential is really unique. We are also offering this one because it is a certification. And the most challenging part of the training is the training psychology, the training theories, which actually are very uh, challenging to understand. And for a trainer, understanding do, those theories is very important so that he can uh, do the necessary need analysis, course development and feedback, all those uh, uh, critical steps. So the CIT is a very unique and a great uh, credential, we can say. Uh, the, the next one, I think the important one is CHST, Construction Health and Safety Technician. It's, uh, Imran is also CHST. He started his journey with CHST, with the BCSP credentials, and then ASP, and then CSP, along with OSHA. So CHST is especially for those people who have a very good command on the construction safety areas. And then we have some other credentials like STS, STSC, OHST, who are the specific supervisory uh, credentials uh, for the people in their areas. But I would say that CSP is the top one. ASP is the prerequisite for the CSP. And then for the particular supervisory areas or the specialties, SMS, CHST, and CIT are the specialized options. So uh, we can say that all these certifications can be divided into professional management super and training categories. Uh, but moving on, uh, understanding this relationship is uh, really helpful. That what is the philosophy of uh, BCSP in designing these certifications? CSP is the top one to lead the organization to do all the strategic planning. And as we have said that SMS is for the people who have very extensive safety experience. So they are here in the advisory role with the uh, CSPs. ASP are at the middle management level. Uh, so they are playing their role here. Then CHST and OHST are the specialized technicians. And then CIT is the training, the core specialty in the training. And these people, STSC and STSC, they are the field people who are working on the field to develop the overall safety culture. Uh, we, we can see two new names here, like. TSP, GSP. So first important thing to tell about them is that they are not certification like all the others. They are designations. We need to understand the difference between certification and designation. Certification is actually a credential which you earn and designation is just a title or just a label according to some reciprocal agreement. So what TSP is, TSP is basically recognition of uh, different diploma programs or different technical education programs. And these technical programs are endorsed by a BCSP and what those diploma claim, they claim that we are, are delivering the content equivalent to the ASP. So with those TSP designations, people are already covering the ASP content. So with that TSP designation, they can directly apply for the AS CSP uh, rather than uh, doing the ASP first. The examples are some level six qualifications like Nibosh International Diploma or IDSC is the famous one with which you can directly apply for the CSP if you fulfill the other requirements like experience and education. And in the same way, GSP is basically the designation of the education programs. Like there are many education programs, especially in US, uh, which cover the ASP content in their bachelor's, master's, or PhD programs. So those universities are accredited by BCSP. They applied for that designation in the BCSP. And the students having those uh, qualified educational programs or approved educational programs, they apply for this designation. They get that designation. And the advantage is that they can save the ASP cost and they can directly apply for CSP. Like Mr. Imran is doing his research and uh, a master's work with the Columbia Southern University. So Columbia Southern University is the famous one uh, who is offering a lot of online programs. 
and those online programs a lot of them uh, are basically uh, accredited in gsp so this is one of the option and this is in also in our plan that we are going to launch very soon our diploma program as well and our education program as well our education program with that gsp designation and our diploma program which will give that csp eligibility as well and which can give the level 6 uh, uh, level 6 title which basically earns you the grad iosh uh, from the british body iosh so we are already working on that you will hear that very soon inshallah so let's talking about the certification steps let's suppose uh, you, you want some bcsp certification so first of all you will choose that which bcsp certification you want to do like most of us are here with the target of become csp so uh, you will first of all see that you cannot do directly csp first you have to go for the asp so you will first of all decide that which credential you want to earn asp in the first step let's suppose then you will check your eligibility for the asp everything is mentioned on our website as well and the bcsp website as well uh, we will talk about the asp and csp eligibility in the coming slides so you will check your eligibility uh, then you will submit the application to bcsp uh, it's uh, it's a very uh, well synchronized systematic process and we also provide the consultancy support uh, for that application process so it's just like creating your personal profile on the bcsp system creating an online application and then paying the fees to bcsp so everything is there on the website and if you feel difficulty in any step uh, we are there as the expert to facilitate in all that process so once your application is approved uh, you have the one calendar year as the eligibility to uh, purchase your exam so you will purchase your exam like uh, initially the application fee is 160 us dollar once you are approved you will pay 350 dollars to purchase the exam once you purchase the exam you will give uh, it will uh, mail an account with an authorization code on the pearson vue because bcsp has authorized pearson vue uh, specialized center to conduct uh, multiple exams at their uh, exam centers and pearson vue has locations in almost every major country uh, across the globe so you will schedule your exam with the pearson vue then you will sit for the exam and then uh, moving on you will maintain your certification for the last uh, for the long time with the annual renewal fee and with the recertification so uh, just a 5 minute break because i have a maghrib azan just a 5 minute break stay connected please Battery is low. Please recharge in time. Okay. Uh, so this is the whole certification process or the steps to complete the certification. Moving on, as I have said, how to make the profile? You will go on the BCSP website. bcsp.org you will click on my profile you will create the new profile and then you will maintain that so there are quite easy steps to follow but we are there to assist in that in case you have any difficulty uh, first of all very quickly uh, we are not we are not mentioning the eligibility requirements for all the certifications you can see them from our website and the bcsp website uh, here we are briefly talking about csp and asp so for csp first of all you need accredited bachelor's degree in any field and like from the mustafa experience uh, you have in nigeria your uh, diploma in industrial safety so that diploma in industrial safety uh, is recognized by bcsp as the bachelor's education so first of all according to the us conversion uh, you should check your uh, eligibility requirement uh, which is the bachelor's degree first of all then you should have at least a uh, four years of experience uh, in which uh, at least your 50% of duties and responsibilities should be this uh, should be safety related uh, then the third important requirement is that you must have some qualifying credential 
you cannot do csv directly you need some uh, prerequisite credential uh, to qualify for the csv and quickly talking about the, those credentials they are uh, a few of them uh, the most important famous one is the asp as i have already said other than asp what other options you have if maybe you are cih from abihp you are qualified from canadian board or you have qualified from some university uh, which has uh, the gsp designation for that uh, academic program or you have some diploma which has the tsp designation like nebosh international diploma or idsc or you have some diploma or certificate from the state government boards of india uh, if you go on to the bcsp website and you go into the uh, csp tab you will see there some reciprocal agreements of uh, bcsp with some big boards like iosh in which uh, they have the reciprocal agreement with each other that uh, iosh uh, bcsp accepts cm iosh as the eligible requirement for the csp and also uh, the iosh awards all the csp certified people uh, people cm iosh designation so that is a big uh, recognition basically because uh, a lot of people in the safety uh, they target that grad iosh or cm iosh designation so the one way is that you go for some uh, level 6 or level 7 diploma and then you maintain your cpt for years and then get get that cm iosh stature another way is that you become csp and then you go to iosh pay their membership fee give them the cm iosh interview and then they will automatically accept you as a cm iosh after csp so that that is one of the quickest path uh, to get the highest uh, british designation in the occupational health and safety uh, so these are basically all those listed options uh, which are uh, the possible options other than asp uh to become eligible for the csp but always keep one thing in mind that you cannot do csp directly unless you have one of the qualifying credential qualifying credential is the keyword so that qualifying credential can be asp that can be gsp or some tsp program or uh or out of these options uh which are the, the some big boards which have the agreements uh, with bcsp Uh, in which they have accepted each other's qualification like nebosh international diploma is accepted as the csp requirement and the people having csp if they want to go for the nebosh international diploma all their uh, credit requirement and coursework requirement is completely exempted they just have to appear in the exam and submit the uh, dni report to the nebosh uh, to get that nebosh international diploma but generally what we have seen is the trend is that after csp people don't go for the for, for the nebosh idp option but all those people which have the which, which have that nebosh international diploma uh they are targeting the csp at the moment uh, like at the moment we have almost five students who have nebosh international diploma and now they are preparing for csp with us but i have not seen any case yet when the person has csp and he is going for the nebosh idp so that's that means that nebosh idp is also accepting or the market is also accepting csp as the higher credential uh, what mistake people do normally uh, we know the famous the most famous uh, nebosh qualification is nebosh ig or nebosh igc uh, is formal name so always remember that nebosh ig is a level 3 qualification it's it's a really good one uh for the new for the new start startups or the supervisor level people but that is a level 3 qualification and nebosh idp is level 6 qualification so uh if if we want to relate csp and nebosh idp there is some comparison between uh, the diploma and the csp but igc has nothing to do here so people always uh, do this mistake that they start comparing ig with the asp and ig with the csp it's just like you start comparing the 12th year qualification or education with some bachelor program or masters or doctorate or phd program so whenever we are comparing the different uh, qualifications or credentials we we should be very clear that what is actually their level so that we can 
compare the qualifications on sort of equivalent level. So, so this is some sort of technical discussion. If you have any query, you can just write it down. We can discuss it in the Q&A session or you can pass it on in the chat screen. Uh, talking about the most uh, famous uh, qualifying credential is the ASP. And ASP has, has uh, I, we can say that quite relaxed requirement, like either should have the bachelor degree, the traditional bachelor degree, or you can have a 14 years education or associate degree, but that 14 years education or associate degree must be in safety, safety, health and environment. But even if you have that associate degree, you do the ASP, even then for CSP, you need that bachelor because that associate degree will not work for CSP. It can work for ASP, but it will not work for CSP. Uh, you should have one year experience, at least one year experience in which at least 50% of your duties and responsibilities are safety related. But normally what happens when you file the application with the BCSP, they uh, take your education documents as submission, but they don't ask for your experience requirement uh, evidence at the time of application. So they, they don't need that. You just uh, write in their box that how much is your experience and that's it. In case your application is selected in an audit because BCSP does some random audit as well of the like sometime 1% of the total applications or 2% of the total applications. So in case if your application is selected in some audit, then you have to provide that experience evidence. Otherwise, uh, BCSP only take your education documents uh, and your information of the experience. Uh, moving on, after giving you all uh, the bird view of uh, the BCSP and their credentials, let come what we are doing. That's all I could talk about that. So first of all, uh, you know, for these ASP and CSP certifications, the first question should be that what is what is the course? What is like the syllabus from where you prepare? So uh, the keyword for the syllabus is the blueprint. You can see on our website as well and on the BCSP website as well that there are like nine domains or the nine categories in the ASP syllabus or the blueprint you say in which the topics are listed. Okay, so there are the topics uh, which you have to cover and then you have a list of references or the list of books or standards to cover them. Okay. Similarly is for the CSP, the list of topics and then the list of references to cover them. So let me show you, I have that PDF actually uh, open here. So let me show you just quickly that. Like this is the ASP blueprint. So what the blueprint means that they, there are the topics like domain one is on science and maths on safety management system, domain two ergonomics. Then there is a percentage that out of 200 questions, how many questions would be there from these topics? Okay. So nine sections and almost like uh, 70 to 80 topics in the ASP and around 150 topics and in, in CSP, if we look, look at on the CSP one, now the interesting part is, which is actually the real challenge that from where, from, from which books we should prepare them. So uh, the, talking about the books or references, if you, look, if you look at the ASP references, there are almost like five pages. And if I, I can try to count, they are almost like a 150 books and standards. And if we go into the CSP one, uh, they are almost like 150 to 200 books and standards. So the important point is to cover these topics, it is not practically possible to purchase all these books and standards. And let's suppose even if you purchase them from some digital library or any resource, it is not possible practically for anyone to study all that, right? So that's how this certification becomes very challenging, very difficult because you have such a big resource to prepare. So you need mentoring 
you need some guideline you need some focused direction to prepare that otherwise you cannot do so that is what we do actually in our exam prep uh, on all these topics we have prepared like 40 plus video lectures as per the latest blueprint version version 10 is actually the latest one uh, then me and imran we are very much involved uh, with our candidates as uh, mustafa has said earlier we do the initial gap assessment we do the final gap assessment we we, we give the trips uh, tricks techniques and all those suggestions uh, then we provide our own resource and the practice questions uh, till the person is not certified, we, we provide a lot of guidance and personal support. And at the moment, we are doing the live lecture workshops as well, exactly in the blueprint sequence. For each topic of the blueprint, we are providing our own slides uh, in the form of video presentation, live interaction with the people. So uh, at the moment, we are conducting 10 week uh, workshop for the CSP because five hours every week and eight week for the ASP and almost we are done with the five to six weeks. So we are almost ending these workshops and we have a tremendous feedback for the students because our professionals are very much engaged in their jobs. Now they are getting the directed resource, directed guideline, uh, straight target that how to prepare for the certification. So that is actually saving a lot of energy, uh, a lot of effort and people are really preparing for the certification very efficiently. And mathematics, like professionals are feeling very uh, challenging sometimes for mathematical problems. That is my uh, skill, basically. Uh, construction safety and the overall safety application is Imran's skill. And mathematics and analytics and all, all those bookish knowledge is basically my uh, expertise. So we are combining our expertise to deliver some best of the best to the students. And then a lot of strategies, because it's not about like just covering the topics. Uh, the, the particular mental strength, psychology, and application of the tricks and techniques and the time management is overall uh, very important. So we just try to help the students with all that. Okay. Moving on, uh, let's see a uh, few of our students because we, we have a very big list of the students who have recently succeeded from all parts of the globe. But let's talk about a few of them here. Uh, the first one we have already mentioned, Mustafa. Uh, and Imran, I think you can you can take it from here, talking about a little bit uh, about each of them. Yes, uh, um, this is uh, uh, Zuhaib. Uh, he, uh, he was our first uh, ASP uh, uh, under the uh, flagship of Nova USA. Uh, last year, uh, year, almost more than a year. Uh, since then, we have a few more in USA, and we currently have about uh, six, seven of the USA uh, professionals under our uh, 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 mentor program right now. So Zuhaib was the first one. That's why we like to mention. We can't forget him. Very nice guy. He works in he works in Texas uh, in an oil gas company, and uh, we're good professional. And he's preparing for his uh, uh, CSC, uh, CSP now. So, you know, there you go. Then uh, we have uh, uh, this uh, Mohammed Amin. Uh, he's from and uh, 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 um, Abdul Sattar Ali. Uh, he's the both of them for our first uh, uh, Egyptian students. Uh, uh, I think one is uh, working in Saudi Arabia, and one is working somewhere in Egypt. So these are first, uh, the other one was uh, USA. This is our first two from uh, uh, Egypt. And we have a lot of other students from Egypt as well in our current batch. Yeah. Yes, and Mahmoud, talking about Mahmoud, he was, uh, he had Nebosh International Diploma and he was really struggling with the CSP prep. So uh, the things got easier for him. And mm -hmm. about uh, Abdul Sattar Ali, Munsif is his famous name. So yeah. uh, he did ASP with us as well. And uh, recently he did CSP as well with our feedback. So both of them from the Egypt. Yes, sir. And this is uh, uh, our, uh, this is not our first Pakistani, but he just a recent one. who did this a couple of weeks ago, if I remember, uh, on uh, uh, August 6th or something like that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, this is a recent uh, CSCB. He was with us for ASP. And uh, he was with the, uh, then he 
jumped on to CSP as well. And these are recent from Pakistan because we are a long list from Pakistan. So we can't show that, but the last one was um, two weeks ago, uh, was Sayyid Asif. Okay. Uh, this one, uh, yes, uh, but he was, uh, if I remember correctly, our first CSP, Bilal. He was our first uh, ASP. Uh, Praveen was the first CSP. Yeah, Praveen was the first CSP. He was the first ESC, ASP. Then he did the CSP. And as Bilal mentioned, then he, on the basis of CSP, he got the uh, UK based uh, CM IOSH from uh, IOSH as well. So he's currently you now CS, CSP and Ayosh, um, you know, he's a good guy. He's in Pakistan working with very diverse experience he has. And um, well, so we have somebody from India too. Yeah, this is uh, Imran Parvez from Saudi Arabia. He was with us for ASP and then also did uh, CSP. And he's uh, one of the trainer there uh, or working in some industry. So it's from Saudi Arabia, yes. Uh, Vajinder, you know, he's our, uh, 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 not first Indian, we have more before that, but he's, he was the one who came to us from both for ASP and the CSP. Uh, Virginia Singh, very nice guy, very professional, and uh, you know, uh, uh, good guy. So he also did both ASP and CSP from us, from India. There's another Indian, uh, you know, a few more. These are the last uh, uh, few of them who did the CSP from us. Uh, uh, both, both of them working in India, Praveen. Uh, he was our first CSP about a year and a half, two years ago. And uh, Jendra is our uh, last CSP from India. Yeah. I think a couple of months ago, or maybe six, seven weeks ago, he did that. Exactly. So, you know, I think almost we have, we have six stu students from India who are appearing in the next one month or maximum couple of months. Couple of months for CSP. Almost six are appearing. Yeah, we have a lot of students from India. And uh, uh, Ghulam Mahiruddin, he's a... Uh, um, He's our CS, uh, CSP as well. He's uh, one of a uh, um, uh, uh, manager in uh, Pakistan's oil and gas company. Uh, very professional guy. Then uh, he's, you know, again, he's a, uh, not the first, but a few Pakistani who did the CS, CSP from us. He had the uh, Nabosh IDIP, I think. No, so and he did he, ASP. He did ASP on his ASP, okay. and then okay. CSP okay. with us. He did ASP and then CSP from us as well. Yeah, so it's Mohayuddin. And uh, again, I was mentioning the scholarship program we had. Uh, it expired on uh, July 31st. We had the woman. We were giving away about almost uh, $1,250 for both ASP and CSP preparation. And for the men, it was a $650 for the, uh, for the ASP or for the CSP uh, uh, certification. Idea was, not only we business and make money, we also have some social responsibility that we try to fulfill. And uh, hopefully uh, we will keep announcing these type of programs. So that yeah. is our first of the first of that. So just just be just try to tune yourself with our social media because we have listed here only few of the candidates. But if you want to look at all of our activities and uh, all that stuff, I would advise that do follow us on uh, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. So you will uh, get a lot of awareness there as well, information about all our alumni as well, and you will you will be keep posted with these sort of updates and opportunities as well. Yeah. Okay, so now is the time for questions and answers. So anybody has any questions, any suggestion, it's all yours. Uh, we are open to... Uh, uh, open to your discussion, and I, I please. I maybe sometimes it's a bit hesitant that you you don't want to speak, but and you want to count on the recorded session. These recorded sessions all you know. This was going to be another one, uh, but I would say that uh, you know um, please ask a question since we are available live to you guys. So you know, let's have the conversation if we can. You know. So who wants to be the first? So you can come up with your question via chat, via uh, your voice, whatever is convenient for you. Let me ask that in chat as well.
So that's okay. Maybe, you know, uh, people would like to take some time and, you know, could then come up with the questions. Uh, So it's very good if uh, we are connected live at the moment, we can have your uh, comments, feedback, suggestion or questions, or otherwise our website, email number and our social media is listed here. After this session, we will upload the video on our YouTube channel and we will also uh, send you a uh, acknowledgement email so that you can have all that information. Okay, I guess uh, uh, um, uh, this good. And uh, that will conclude our session. Uh, okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, no problem at all. Thank you. Yeah, nice to see you, Hamza. And uh, I also nice request to other people if uh, we can have their uh, video or display picture so that we can conclude the session. Mm -hmm.